Get this, the average household spends about $500 on dry cleaning every year. That's according to industry reports. But there are some things that you can clean on your own and other ways that you can also cut down on your bill. And Melanie Lawson is back with more laundry hacks. Melanie, listening closely to this one. I know. And Jen, I'm with you. I try to wear it as long as I can <laughs> before I go to the dry cleaner, right? No shame. But no, no. it has to go sometimes. I'm no with you guys. At all in that. <laughs> Mel, I'm with you. I, I just, it, it sits in my back seat until I eventually make it there. I get it. I get it. I have worn clothes many times, maybe even twice too long. I'll just say that. So check this out. This is a shirt that apparently I can wash at home and I've been sending it to the dry cleaner, but I looked and one of the keys here is to really understand the icons. So on here, it looks like someone's little hand is hand washing, which means that I can hand wash it. The key when you are hand washing something that's kind of flimsy like this is you don't ever want to stick it in the dryer. You want to make sure that you hang it and you dry it. And I'll show you a quick way to maybe dry, especially when you are hand washing. This is a dress that I wore to one of my birthday parties and it says, that I should never wash it. Dry clean it, wash it, just spot clean it. So that's interesting. I didn't quite know that about this. Now here's something that I think is interesting because I was reading that you really shouldn't do pleats. You should send those to the dry cleaner. But I learned from a fashionista that if you take, you know, one of your hair ties and you can actually like bunch this up like this and then you can wash it. Oops, that one broke, sorry. You can wash this, but if you take it and you kind of... <laughs> Get a better hair tie than these. Anyway, you're going to tie it, and then that's going to keep it pleated, and then you can, you know, put one here, one here, and then you can go ahead and wash this, and it, it'll keep the pleating. That's if you're risky and you want to take that risk. This was my mistake, um, Lauren, that I wanted to talk about. This is a cashmere sweater that <gasps> shrunk because I did go ahead and wash it. I know, so bad. Oh, no, and, you know, you you know better. You know better. Wool. I knew better. And what happens with me is that someone always takes my clothes out of the washer and then sticks it in the dryer. And I'm like, wait, we have to go through and make sure that everything can be dried. So, you know, cashmere's, you definitely don't want to wash at home. You want to dry clean. But I did read that wool, you can get away with it, but you want to make sure that you're stretching it out on the counter. You know, again, nothing that you ever want to put into the dryer. All right, so here's a couple tips where if you have something that you're skeptical about, you could take a spot test. So you want to put it somewhere that you know no one is going to see. You use a little water, maybe a little detergent if you want to, and you're just going to kind of take a cotton ball or a Q-tip. And if it fades or if it starts to bleed, then that's something you definitely want to go ahead and take to the dry cleaner. But a spot test is something you can do. Also, if you are hand washing, you want to do it in the sink, maybe a little wool light or a gentle cleanser. And then you can take it and roll it in a towel to get some of the water out. So again, you want to kind of press that through because we never want to put it in the dryer and then you can hang it to dry. So really the key is, I mean, you can take some risk, risk but you definitely want to check and make sure that it actually can handle the water. You know, Mike Harris over at Oceanside Cleaners did say that one thing that they always do is they press it beautifully for you. And if you do take it to the dry cleaner, let the person know what you think the stain is and therefore they can do what they need to do to try to get stains out because they're much better than we are. Back to you. Uh, Mel, I do have to tell you, since watching you this morning, I already bought that spray <laughs> cleaner that you've been showing us all morning long. Oh yeah, it's arriving yeah. tomorrow. All right, let me show you real quick. I know I'm being wrapped, but I stained this thing. Remember, it was jelly, barbecue sauce, yeah. and mustard. The only thing I see is a little mustard. I don't think I scrubbed it that well, but this is really impressive. That's and incredible. I do have to point out, there actually were stains on this before I stained it today because I, I was thinking I'd trash it if it didn't work. But Noah's going to be wearing this shirt because it's in good shape. Can you send us a picture of Noah wearing it? He's <laughs> like, Mom. Oh, sure. Aww. Oh, he's sweet. He'll Beautiful. do it. He'll all do right. it. Mel, you, this has all been amazing. I, you've helped so many of us. Thanks. I'm raising my hand. You can't see it, but you're the best. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. <laughs> Thanks.